Hey guys, it's Ed with Solomon's Landscape here. Just uh, wanted to do a quick video. Been driving around here, and <laughs> I'm sure you guys noticed as far as um, the weather wise. Uh, it's beautiful, summertime's here, uh, temperature's up, um, water's down. Uh, definitely seeing the effects of the lack of water. I'm sure a lot of you are struggling to keep that lovely grass, uh, whether it's Bermuda grass or zoysia grass or fescue grass. That's probably the hardest hit right now. Uh, but even Bermuda grass and zoysia grasses are getting hit really hard. Uh, that's because it's been so so hot and dry, uh, especially so early this year, uh, where other parts of the country are enjoying enjoying maybe not so much um, flooding. Uh, lots of rain, lots of flooding in other parts of the country. Unfortunately for them, um, I never wish that on anybody. Uh, and of course, here we're in the south, and we're getting not an ounce of rain. Um, so, uh, last couple of years we've been kind of blessed um, and kind of got uh, a little used to and spoiled that we've had a uh, ton of ton of water, um, some nice wet summers. Um, a regular rain in the last two or three years and so I was just thinking to myself it's been uh, at least two to three years maybe a little longer um, that I've seen so much grass struggle even Bermuda grass struggling so much because of the lack of rain um, so I just wanted to take a moment about our uh, moment um, and talk about irrigation systems um, obviously if you do have an irrigation system uh, you definitely want to make sure uh, that it's running <laughs> running now and running properly so um, if you haven't checked it in a while it's a good time to check it uh, the optimum time to really do that is in the springtime uh, usually March April um, to be able to check those and make sure everything's running properly uh, the reason being is we you know now we're in uh, end of May beginning of June um, and people are just now realizing that their irrigation either wasn't turned on or things are broken or not working properly and uh, unfortunately, if you call someone to come and repair that irrigation, uh, it's going to take a couple of weeks at least uh, easily because it is prime time. Everybody's slammed this time of year making repairs on irrigation, um, which is fine. Um, it's just good. Um, irrigation repairs typically are fairly easy to do. Um, they're not too terribly hard. Um, you do have to have some knowledge of the systems, um, how they work. Um, Usually, uh, line breaks are fairly easy to do, easy to fix. The hardest part is just trying to find where that leak is, um, and then they have products out there that uh, allow you to fix those relatively inexpensively. Um, the expense comes in the knowledge of where to look um, and how to fix those systems, because sometimes they can get a little technical and a little bit more of a pain to figure out and find. Um, so. It's always good to find yourself a good solid contractor to do that if you aren't willing to do the work yourself um, and just realize that you know May and beginning of June now um, if you're just getting that irrigation started uh, you're going to be waiting a few weeks for someone to come out and get that repaired at minimum. Um, again the optimum time really is March, April, um, probably April uh, getting those checked. Uh, again, if you haven't checked your system in a while, it would be good to turn it on and check things. Uh, make sure there's not any extra, excess moisture, excess water coming up from the ground, uh, which usually means that there is a leak somewhere. Uh, making sure that your heads are not clogged and getting the prop appropriate uh, distance and throw, uh, working properly. Uh, so it's just simple stuff. Um, to uh, go through uh, the system just to double check make sure it works properly and again if not that's you know um, usually simple repairs uh, sometimes they can get complex so depending on how they're installed and what's going on but typically they're simple repairs uh, it's just time and uh, figuring out exactly where um, to repair that and that takes uh, some knowledge um, but again uh, you can go to your local Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardwares um, to get parts to do repairs. Um, I would also give a shout out to Ewing Irrigation. Um, it's like one landscaping. Uh, they helped us out Ewing on uh, Highway 14, um, right there by the QT and the airport. Uh, they helped us out a lot and 
I'm sure they'd love your business and of course they're really good and they're definitely willing to help out and uh, give some advice uh, Lord knows I've leaned on them a lot for um, different things and advice and thoughts on certain things as well so again like I say just wanted to let you know it's dry hot and dry it doesn't look like it's getting any better uh, so just double check make sure your irrigation systems are up and running properly um, and if they are hopefully that's great that's awesome um, if not uh, you can give us a call um, and uh, we can take, come take a look at it and uh, let you know if uh, we can help you out um, again we do have a couple good contractors or subcontractors as well um, that we'd love to pass on business to as well um, but again um, if you are it is now June 1 or no June 2 to, ah, time flies when you have fun um, but if you're just now getting to it uh, expect a couple of weeks uh, wait uh, but again most of these repairs are uh, fairly easy to fix uh, it's just the time is to find them and uh, put those together so uh, thank you very much for your time have a great day and uh, stay stay cool um, and drink lots of water as uh, the temperatures are up and the uh, water is non-existent so keeping those uh, turf grasses healthy healthy and plants healthy um, as best we can um, the good thing about uh, Bermuda grass if you do have Bermuda grass um, and you don't have irrigation once it once it starts raining again that, that stuff will perk right back up and green up within a, about a week to two weeks um, so don't fret if you don't have any irrigation uh, on the Bermuda grass or warm season grasses uh, like soy grass as well uh, fescue grass good luck um, you know try to water that as best you can because it's uh that one definitely needs watering. Um, good luck. Thanks very much. Have a great day.